We begin our coverage tonight with CBS 13's Elisa Becerra live at the Tower Bridge where a man was last seen jumping into the river last night. Elisa. Absolutely, Curtis. And as you said, it's already been a deadly weekend on the water. As you said, last night, a man, can you believe it, jumped from the Tower Bridge into the water. Uh, and Sacramento police say the man jumped about 1130 last night when he failed to surface. Family members jumped in to try to find him. Police say the current was too swift and family members were forced to swim to the shore. Now that investigation is ongoing. They're still searching for this person and that's only the beginning. A gruesome discovery for some fishermen this morning on the American River. Just about 7 a.m., a fisherman on a boat discovered the body of a man believed to be homeless. The body was located on a pier under a railroad bridge. According to the Sacramento Fire Department, it appears the man was sleeping at an encampment near the water and rolled into the river and drowned. This drowning is still under investigation. Tragedy struck yesterday on the waterways in Rio Vista, claiming the life of a seven year old, James Lee Vasquez. Now, the little boy was playing in the Delta and at some point took off his life jacket and was swept away. Now, coming up tonight at 10 p.m., we talked to the Vasquez family. They want to speak out about uh, wearing the life vest and safety about it so that this just doesn't happen again. Curtis, back to you. Uh, so sad. So he took off his life jacket. He was wearing one and he took it off and then he drowned. Yeah, apparently his mother kept reminding him, if you're a parent, you can identify with this. Keep it on, keep it on. And at some point, he took it off and then was swept away. Ah, tragic. All right, Elisa, thank you very mm -hmm. much.